Sam is a racist. We are here to say to Jeremy Corbyn, enough is enough. So to what degree is Jeremy Corbyn a supporter of anti-Semitism, or even anti-Semitic himself? Last week, a large number of Jewish people gathered outside the Houses of Parliament to complain of what they see is a continual anti-Semitic trope from the leader, Mr Corbyn. And also protesting against those people on the same day was the Jewish Voice for Labour, a collection of Jewish people within the Labour Party who think Corbyn has done nothing wrong and that this is all a witch hunt. I'm with a founding member of that organisation, Mike Cushman. You might be a friend of Israel, but you are not a friend of the Jews. We live in a society disfigured by racism and all sorts of other forms of hate. One of those forms of hate is anti-Semitism. In a party of half a million people, we are not free of anti-Semitism, and that has to be dealt with. Is it the major problem confronting the Labour Party? No. My experience is Islamophobia, anti-black racism, is a much bigger problem inside the Labour Party. The reason which, which, which I hear all the time why Jewish people are worried about the Labour Party comes right from the top, from Jeremy Corbyn. It's a sort of build-up of things. So firstly, describing Hamas as his friends. Jeremy has a very inclusive manner. He talks about, he habitually talks about people being his friends. He wants to embrace. What he also knew from his Irish experience is that if you get closer to people, and you can talk to them, and you can actually then work towards a solution. Yeah, but he In hasn't the, talked to the Israelis, has he? He talks to Jews all the time he in this country. He hasn't talked to the Israelis, though. He even, he even avoided Benjamin Netanyahu when he came to visit. You know, I mean, you would think if you can't even bear to be in the same room as you... Uh, there is a problem. When Israel describes itself as a Jewish state, and when Netanyahu says he's the leader of all Jews, people easily fall into the mistake of saying if they claim to be speaking for all Jews, all Jews are responsible for Israel. Now, that, it's wrong on both sides. Netanyahu's and the Zionist statement that they speak for all Jews are wrong. People's assumptions that all Jews support Israel and are responsible for Israel's reactions are wrong. They are both wrong. Do you support the existence of Israel? I don't support an exclusionary religious-based state. Do I think there needs to be a state that's a state of all its citizens, that means all the people in the region can live in peace and fulfill that humanity. Yes, I, that's, that's what I want. But Israel is moving further and further towards a theocracy, further and further to unrecognizing the, quarter, the fifth or a quarter of its population who aren't Jews. But there is also the fact that he was a member of these blogs, these, these Facebook pages, where there was grotesque anti-Semitism. Mm -hmm. If this had been a conservative politician who had joined a Facebook page which called for the expulsion of Muslims from Great Britain, you would be among the first to say, get out of Parliament. Now, that's an interesting question. We've had this obsessive trawling of Twitter and Facebook for supposed anti-Semitic comments. There's been no trawling of conservative posts which may reveal anti-Semitism, Islamophobia, homophobia, anything you like, misogyny. There's been no trawling of Labour posts to find out any of these things. Just this very narrow no, focus. Okay. So, and this, no, but is, this, is entire, this is highly resource intensive to do this sort of searching. Who is financing it? Who is organising it? Ah, who is right, doing who it? Who is doing it then? I have no idea. Well, who are you implying is doing it? You think it's the Israelis doing it? I think it may be friends of the Israelis, it may be Israelis. This whole witch hunt, as you would see it, uh, for want of a better word, uh, may well be a consequence of friends of the Israelis or the Israelis, presumably therefore in tandem with the Blairites. I think there are two things going on. I think those people who are supporters of Israel are very worried that the leader of a major political party in Britain is highly sympathetic to the Palestinian cause. That's one group. We have another group of Labour MPs, Labour councillors, who resent the election of Corbyn. They have a joint interest. Now, it doesn't mean there's a conspiracy. They have a joint interest in destabilising Corbyn's leadership. Then there's the mural. I looked at the mural. And all I, these things add up? No, I mean, the mural in the small image on Facebook was not 
obviously anti-Semitic. I think it's a highly problematic mural. However, when the Jewish Chronicle first talked about this mural in 2015, they said it's problematic. They didn't actually go wholesale and they, they were worried about the mural. It suddenly reappears in 2018 at the start of the local election campaigns. Now there's something that is not coincidental. These things blow up at the start of national election campaigns when there are people who want to damage the Labour Party. Who? Conservatives! <laughs> Jeremy is not an anti-Semite and I'm fed up with people who turn on me and call me an anti-Semite, call me a self-hating Jew, call me a capo, call me a Nazi. Now if I were to use anything like that against them, they would call me an anti-Semite. But they feel they have free reign to throw any insult they like. Now to suffer anti-Semitism is deeply personally painful. To be called an anti-Semite is also deeply personally painful. And they think they have free licence to use whatever insults they want. Should Jeremy not apologise? Apologise for what? Apologise for breathing. That's what these people want. They want to, to apologise for everything. on this planet. You don't, you don't planet. think there is a scintilla of anti-Semitism on the, on the Labour far left? I amongst all these people I've, who, I've told you. Yeah, you've told me about but, but in the leadership. You don't think there's any anti-Semitism at all? The Jews have nothing to worry about. They should go back home and not, and, not, and not worry about it. People have their own feelings. And I'm not trying to deny people's feelings. What I am trying to say is, is there, from an outside observer, good reason for those feelings? And I don't think there is good reason for those feelings.